Hello, my name is Cecily, and today we are going to be making paper beads. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that this presentation is being filmed at Mackin House Museum, which is located on the unceded territories of the Coquitlam First Nation peoples. We are honored and grateful to be filming on their territory. Paper beads have been made all over the world from Victorian era England to Eastern Africa. They are a great example of upcycling, which loosely means to reuse discarded objects or material in such a way as to create a product of higher quality or value than the original. There are several ways to make paper beads, but we are going to take you through the basics today. To make your beads, you will need scissors, a ruler, glue, toothpicks, paper towel, and various papers. You can use colored paper, magazine pages, newspaper, takeout menus, or brochures. You can stamp or paint the paper beforehand to give it whatever color scheme you'd like to use for your beads. To begin, you will need strips of paper. These strips can be rectangles, right triangles, or isosceles triangles. The longer the strips are, the thicker the bead will be, so keep that in mind when making your strips. When you are ready to roll your beads, Add a line of glue along the length of the inside of the strip. Take your toothpick and begin rolling at one end. Be sure not to roll the paper too tightly or you won't be able to remove your bead from the toothpick. When you have rolled the whole strip, take a bit of glue and wipe the ends to make sure the ends are secured. Pull the toothpick out of the center of the bead and lay it to dry on the paper towel. You can reuse the toothpick for a few beads before the glue builds up on it, at which point you will need a fresh one. Once your beads have dried, you can use another coating of glue, clear nail polish, or a matte medium acrylic to seal them and make them sturdier. You are then ready to string them into a fun pattern, creating bracelets, necklaces, or whatever else you think of. Thank you for joining us in making beads today. For more information and more craft ideas, please head to our website at coquitlamheritage.ca.